Um, so my name is Dixie Louise, I'm 32 years old, I'm a teacher. I was first diagnosed with endometriosis when I was 20 years old. Um, so I had about 12 years of going through all sorts of different things to get to the point of where I am today really. Um, so I'd had six laparoscopies um, and I'd got to the point where I needed to do something to be in control of the situation and I felt that my final option really um, to, to win the battle was to have a hysterectomy. Um, that was a decision that had, it had taken a long time to make that decision. It was something that I had thought about for a number of years um, and my husband and I, we decided together that my quality of life was more important than anything else and that's why I made the decision to have a hysterectomy. So I have was booked in for my hysterectomy um, last summer and I didn't know about ovarian grafting at first until I went for my first consultation about it and that's when I first found out about the pros and cons to having that type of surgery alongside having a hysterectomy. Um, I was a little anxious at first because I hadn't, I hadn't heard of it, I didn't really know what it was. Um, but Mr Afifi really settled me, put me at ease straight away. Um, and we talked about the benefits of me having that type of surgery and I felt actually, when I walked away from the hospital, I felt really lucky that I'd been chosen to have surgery like that because it was something that was new. Um, and also the benefits that I could potentially have from having that type of surgery. Um, so when I went away and thought about it and when I came back to sign my consent I was more than happy um, to have the ovarian grafting because of the benefits that that would have to my quality, the potential benefits that that would have to my quality of life. Um, so my understanding of ovarian grafting is that when I would be having my operation that they would have a look at my ovaries and take some of the good tissue from there to construct a new ovary that then would be implanted back inside me at the time of the surgery. Um, that ovary would then take a little bit of time to start working in my body and then that would be to produce its own hormones so that my body wouldn't go into the menopause um, and from all of my other things that have gone on over the years I had had injections where I've been put through the chemical menopause so I knew what that felt like so I didn't want to experience the hot flushes and the mood swings and all the other things that go along with the menopause so the ovarian grafting for me um, been able to have that surgery um, to, and then not go through the menopause, that was a huge bonus for me really, a huge positive of reason to be able to have that. It's six months since my surgery now, I'm fully recovered and my ovarian graft is working. I am absolutely, my quality of life has improved dramatically, I am 100% pain free, um, I no longer have mood swings, I no longer have hot flushes, I don't wake up in the night anymore, I can fall asleep easily now. I can't believe just something so simple that was already inside me has changed my life completely. It's been a really hard road to get here but I would choose this a million times over if I could have one more day of just feeling as well as I do now.